Hey guys, welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's night go in the woods. Let's it's go follow not a Greg. Night, but we're in the woods. Let's yeah, we've get, got we've gotten that let's far. Let's go. This game we're is a woods. liar. It's mostly been day in the city. There's been like two nights in the woods. That's true. We have spent at least. There was that one where we got drunk at the party, right, and that's then all that, the oh, very beginning. Yeah, 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 we yeah. Were yeah kind yeah, of yeah. in the woods a little bit. Yep. That was more like night in the drain. He has a crossbow. Yeah, he does. He's what? got two knives and a Look crossbow. Look at this cool owl, owl horse turkey thing. Shwoop. I love it. Owl deer. I was going to say, I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well. Honey wasn't my thing. But I mean, dude. Like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? Nah, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. I was pretty annoyed by that at the time. Really? Think you would have liked it? Probably, actually. Like, just bug hunting or something. Season starts day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyway, I would have liked to have been asked at least. You want to shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on there? The forest god. Like, in the story? Yep. Looks like you just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. You work? Bang, bang. With what you got. You want to shoot it, dude? Um, yes. You should go stand in front and I'll, like, shoot over your head. Mm, Greg's going to say yes, dude. Okay, okay, fine. Give me it. <laughs> oh, now it turns into a first-person shooter. Nice. Wow, this is heavier than I expected. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. You gotta hug it to your shoulder. Then I just shoot wherever? Not, Not at me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What is the button I use? Uh, it's obviously the trigger button. It's not. Obviously, it's the A button. Oh, okay, there we go. Dude. You brained it. I surely did. Oh dang! Did you hear that? That bird was talking crap about you. I'm not. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That I bird was talking should. crap oh, wait, about you closer. back there. Thought I. Is there a reload button? I don't know. It's not telling me. Nope, that's not it. Nothing. Um. Have you pushed all the buttons? I think I think you got it. Hmm, it's not firing. Uh, you just have to hold the trigger down for long enough first. Oh, okay, good to know. Okay, so just hold it down, huh? How long is long? Man, re really sensitive. Uh, just hold it. What trigger? What's the trigger? What did you? What button did you push to shoot? I I thought it was B. Oh, that sounds about right. Scared him off, at least. Yeah. Well, that shot sure went far. Yeah. That's my goal. Quantity over quality. So I'm guessing you can't shoot the birds. Yeah, Unfortunately. this game is lame. Okay, there we go. Right in the old tuchus. Is May doing this, or are you the one with it going everywhere? No, 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 I'm right in the tail. I'm I can control it kind of, but it's it's wild. Uh, man, May's bad. May, get control of yourself. Take a deep inhale. All right, time to hit that possum. Bye. Whoa. There it goes. All right. Let's just let's just, just take this thing down. Brain. Hey guys, if you ever go out casually shooting your crossbow, make sure there's something behind whatever you're shooting. Oh, right Hunt in the, right in the old belly. Because, uh, for all you know, th those arrows are flying out and hitting a person back there. Yeah. Barreled. Arrowed. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try another bird. Alright. 
Okay. And... Oh, all right. All right, you sure murdered that tree. That was my goal. The tree had it coming. <laughs> I'm out of bolts. It's cool. That was that was fun. I can take on like vampires now. You could, you could. Vampires of Possum Springs. They're out there. Shiny teeth. Shiny as the night. Shiny as the night. Okay, enough shooting for one day. Just gonna leave all the bolts out here, I guess. Maybe he already collected them. Maybe. In between scenes. Hey. Okay. Ooh, a little nice pond. So. Yeah, I could have hit these birds yeah. back here. What was that? Yeah, that's been happening lately. Oh, there was a noise or something. Yeah, big noise in the background. Gotcha. What has electrical stuff? Hmm. So I don't want to be nosy, but you seem a little up and down today. Yeah. It's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general lately, but... Uh, I'm a good person, right? Define good. That's what I would say. So. <laughs> I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg badly. Is Angus in trouble or something? Nah, it's like... He hasn't had the best life. His family is, like, pure trash. How so? Definitely wouldn't assume that. Just, like... Jerks. <laughs> really stupid jerks. I don't ever want to lose them. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I... I don't want to screw this up. What are you worried about doing? We've had some arguments lately. About what? Uh... Stuff. Maybe I'm inconsiderate. Maybe I'm not good. You're good. But I'm just parking lot trash. Yeah, good parking lot trash. <laughs> the best parking the best. lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future. If it was just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore, and I stare at the ceiling, and I think about how I'm a complete piece of trash. And, and, and... Greg... Greg, calm down, dude. You're good. And Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill. Etc. Greg Cetra. And you know? He's got that <laughs> butt. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you for finally saying it. That's a fantastic butt, right? Fantastic. Okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. <laughs> Only his butt. And who could blame you? <laughs> I forget what I was going to say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up, up days and really down, down days. And I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast around general blah right now. What this is, we're not talking about you right now. <laughs> hey, both of you guys, those are signs of depression. You should probably go see a doctor. Mm -hmm. What kind of birds are those? I have no idea. Hey, bird! Northern dumbfowl. Eastern skinny bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. 
This game's so wonderful. Oh. Oh no. Everything's going dark. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's just like. Okay. <coughs> <clears throat> oh. Sorry, I've, I'm taking a drink of tea. Yeah, we were both. Tea break. Hey, everybody. Take a drink everybody of whatever beverage you have. Everybody grab some tea. And just drink some real quick. Mine's lavender chamomile. Mine's Darjeeling. Imported Darjeeling. Okay. It was a birthday gift. Greg's happy, okay? Forest God. Greg's sad, okay? Uh, it's for established God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, nope, wrong button. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Amen. <laughs> Any idea what was up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you. But you spent a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. <laughs> Preach. Ah, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. <laughs> huh. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So, how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. Just do that so you make me do Garbo and Malloy. Yeah, we gotta watch our Garbo, Garbo and Malloy. <laughs> <clears throat> they got the Captain Marvel symbol all over the place. Yeah. And this we're back. part of the MCU. I did the end. We're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say Gabo. Yeah, Malloy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them, anyway. <laughs> no, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just like the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. <laughs> <laughs> These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whopper. <laughs> Malloy, it's pol company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Gabo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, Gabo and I go to counseling. I feel like the Garbo and Malloy thing are, are kind of like the um, the pirate comic book and Watchmen. Where oh. there is like there's a they're just stringing kind of the the main uh, parts of the story. Themes yeah, and general stuff. themes. Yeah. And here they're talking about like remember how good things, things were when you were to younger. Be good how things have changed. Yeah, yeah, but now we need to go to counseling. Now we go <laughs> like, to counseling. <laughs> yeah, definitely remind me of like. Uh, well, I always think of I'd buy that for a dollar from RoboCop when they say that's a Wappa, just that like yeah. comedy sting. <laughs> also reminds me of uh, Have you watched Marvelous Miss Maisel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 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 I love that show. other comedian lady played by Jane Lynch. Yeah, the fake one. The um, the she says she has her phrase that she just yes. constantly repeats. What is it? I forget uh, what it was. Put that in your pipe and S something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like. I mean that different context, but just reminds me of that like little the comedy sting where, where the the sting actually is meaningless at this point. It's just like a signal that that's the end of the joke. Yeah, it's like like every single one of the blue collar comedy tour people have it, where it's like here's your sign, or uh, I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Or, Ron White does not. <laughs> the, and Thank he was very my much. least he, favorite of the really? four. Really, I thought he was the funniest. I, of the four. I like Billing Vol easily. The most. His he, his was the most relatable. His was the least. Here's jokes about rednecks. I thought all of them were. In retrospect, I think all of them are lame. But when yeah, when can we I, agree that Larry the Cable Guy is the worst? Uh he's very smart in the sense that he has played the public. Oh my god, so hardcore with that audio, with that character. Oh my gosh, I want to know who he really. Like. I want to meet this gentleman and but have, I, I want him to be British. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't I don't like either of them after watching uh uh uh, uh what's that movie? Um Delta oh, Farce. Geez. Delta Farce. <laughs> I mean, that, in retrospect, that farce of a film. It's very nice that they don't have those at the TVs at Plasma anymore because uh, on that they don't note, put those movies. I recently anymore. watched Mister Popper's Penguins with my kids. Oh yeah, yeah, great. That's better. Oh, it's much better. It's it's a, it's a fine movie. Like yeah, it's, it's just a it, whatever family it's comedy. Better than I expected it to be, honestly. Yeah. Hey, B, you there? Yes, sir. No, that's B. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. It, Greg's up here. Yeah. B's down here. Yeah. Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. Yeah, Ooh. there's definitely a contrast here. Like, like each, each all of the three main characters, or at least like Greg, B, and May, have like a different level of maturity. Right. Greg seems like to kind of still be a child a little bit. Yes. And is really struggling with these bigger things that are happening in his relationship and all that. May kind of started that maturity, but then stalled somewhere. Something, Something happened, happened that, that kind of arrested her development, as we've said, where B uh, definitely got like maturity thrust upon her right. like, having to take over this store. And, her and mom's she's, she's met it with cynicism. Yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting. Although she's matured, she's matured. It, is, it has taken its toll on her. For yes, sure. it has not been a, a good mature like process through of right. maturation. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Gonna get back to work. Night night. Hey, kid. Hey, oh. Thanks for hanging out earlier. No problem, dude. How are your knife wounds? I ran them under some water. I figure that'll fix them. <laughs> Sounds right. Sorry there was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just... Yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, brah. Alright. Let's do that same... Let's do the same thing. Let's do the same thing. Bedtime? Bedtime? Yes time. Foshizi. Foshizi. All right. And I think we'll call it an episode right there at bedtime. All right. And we'll come back tomorrow morning. Or or into a new, another dream. Uh, oh, well, let's see. Actually, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. Because the dreams have been, have been more, wild. More yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, okay. Let's do a dream real quick. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's finish this off. Yeah. So li let's be the lamp lighter. I read a book called The Foundling Series. And it was Foundling, Lamplighter, and Factotum. Yeah. And the books were fine. They're a little slow for my taste. Um, but they were really, like, they were supposed to be kind of... Uh, I'm like a factory. Middle fantasy. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to say steampunky, but there were steampunk elements to it. But anyway, all that to say, it was also really psychological. Like, there was a lot of, you know, classist... Uh, discussion in there there were like this was a land of real monsters and humans you know hated them and whatever else but the monsters were just trying to have their own society sure. and whatnot and it was all yeah it's a lot of good uh a lot I of was good feeding more there. the lamplighter from uh the boys oh right the guy with fire powers right. played by Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> but not his twin Whenever I see one of them, my very first thing is I have to find out which one of them <laughs> which is. Which one is this? So I can keep put it in my journal. There's... Oh, there's... oh no. Not just a dude. Right. Just chilling. Take a big old leap to the left. Yeah, there you go. Let's see who's all the way over here. Possum, Possum Springs. Springs, Deep Hollow County. Another lamp. Okay, we don't have any uh, band members yet. There weren't the four little lights at there the were. beginning. Were there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see them. Oh, they were just, you know, right behind, directly where you started. That's oh, all. I didn't see them. <laughs> Is this the... So there was a... When we heard that weird noise in the woods... There are trees growing on this 
building or train or whatever this is. It's a very green. Oh, is it? Oh, you, oh train? Maybe? Yeah, okay. I was thinking it was a big old factory, but train makes kind of sense because we're clearly moving now yeah. that I think about it. I was thinking maybe this was the factory in the background when we heard that weird noise. Oh, yeah. Greg, but... But at might, the same time, there sad. are trees going out of it, and there are street lamps. None of it so makes sense. None of it makes, it's all oh, dream logic. It's a train. There's a... a it could just be a... Could just Listen. Be a, a shh. That's just factory noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe it's a factory that makes trains. Ah, uh, there you go. Let's see. There are the four okay, things. Okay, we've got one. Where, man, where are the rest? Just walk all the way to the right. Maybe I that's did. one. You did, like, as, as far as the screen would let you go? Yeah. I mean, we're gonna go look again. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta climb now, though. Which will be what we eventually... Let's see. Okay, we're gonna try this. Alright, you got... Okay, you're onto something here. There you go, nice. There's one. Got him. What's up? Danger. No. Can't jump on that. It's just a brick in the background. <laughs> okay. We have gone this way, but let's just see if we... There's a lamp Oh, there's there. a lamp I didn't light, so... How dare you? I don't want to jump that way, though. I wonder if the lamps are just there because this place is kind of like a maze and this It'll lets kind you know of tell you like the direct you've already got been You've this been here before, yeah. Because the lamps are lit. We're just gonna go for it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, yep, we've been here. Yep. To the front of the train. With buildings on top of it and the fence. Right, right, right. No, in what it is, it's one of those big factory, like big uh, city vehicles from Immortal, oh, Immortal Engines. Oh, there whatever, it Infernal is. Infernal Engines or whatever it was called. Mortal Engines. That movie by Peter Jackson that you really loved. Oh, uh, loved it. No, I, I didn't. No, he did that not. Was, that was a joke. <laughs> it was such, there's such a cool concept on such a boring fr like story of teenagers save the world from fascist regime and then kiss at the end. That was the plot. Wait, they kiss at the end? They do. Oh, I know, man. It's shocking. That never happens. Hang on. The glowing red on the left, I think. Whoa! The glowing red oh, on the left no, means I think is... something's over there. Oh, wait. Hold on. See the... Yes, I understand. Oh. I was wondering if I could jump on that train that sped by as a, as a way to get over ah, it, but see. it doesn't seem like it. Yep. Yeah, there there we is. go. Number three, two bear. Nice jump. Okay, we've been way over here. But yeah. Can I... Nope, can't drop down. Okay. So, I'm going to guess... I would guess as far upper right as possible. Yeah, let's see if there's a path I didn't see before. Or was it a path you didn't even take before? Oh. It was the one less, less traveled. It's the one not traveled at all right now. <laughs> Yep. 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 You ever actually try and walk on a deer path? A deer path? You know what a deer path is? I assume it's a path that deer make as they yeah. walk around a forest. Because really thick like Oregon forests have so much undergrowth that you can't just stroll around the forest typically. Sure. And so deers will make their own paths as they travel the same areas. Oh, up here, I see. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, but, you yeah. know, their hooves are real small. And it's like the width of your foot. They're very thin, yes. Yeah, it's crazy. They're crazy. Deer pads. That's up. That's that's it? Yeah, that's oh, all. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to, like, make a point. No, the point is that deer paths are crazy no. small. Okay, it's just an irrelevant point. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Look, we may be. Uh, we have viewers that are big city boys or big city girls or big city people and never have uh, been in the wilderness like that before. All right, what weird creature? Oh, crocodile. Oh, this time. yeah. It's B. I'm definitely a city person. I grew up a city person, but now, now I'm a man of the wild. <laughs> yeah, that's how I describe <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Wild man. All right. We're calling that an episode. Yep. 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 And we'll come back and wake up B. We'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye.